Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at three furry games. Now I have know a lot of YouTubers do three scary games and I thought about doing that too, but this idea got stuck in my head and I thought it would be a fun little thing to do. So first, by Wolf and Pilot 687 we're going to start off with FurryCon Simulator. Now there wasn't really any details to this. Uh, it hasn't been updated since July 2020 and you can only do Day Zero, which is what we're on now. So you see you have your enjoyment, uh, you can see my mouse cursor there because it's a point and click text adventure. Uh, you see your enjoyment, energy, belly, which is basically hunger meter, money, badge name, persona, inventory, currently I only have my luggage. Alright, <clears throat> let me just take a quick drink. There we go, and let's dive right into this. This was not your first convention, not exactly. You had attended a few meetups around your area in the past, hanging out with a few other furries, some fursuiters as well. You didn't really interact with them that much, but you had a vague idea of what a gathering of furs meant. But this is a whole different thing. You had scraped up just enough funds to buy a plane ticket to the city on the neighboring state. Just enough to get a hotel room for yourself. The idea of rooming with someone else briefly crossed your mind at some point, but you decided not to. After all, you didn't really know anybody at this event. I Maybe mean, that makes sense. Maybe this was your first real convention, after all, and you'd be, uh, you'd be all on your own. Standing by the entrance, you notice a few fursuiters and furries with their badges standing by the building's doors. Even with the quickly setting sun behind you, it was hard to understand how they could stand outside, being outside in this hot, desert weather. With your luggage next to you, you finally decide to enter the hotel. Rolling your suitcase along the floor, you step into the hotel, the glass sliding doors welcoming you to the venue. The moment you walk inside, cold air greets you. Ah, uh, far cry from the heat of the outside world. The hotel was perfectly acclimated for all the people in thick furred costumes they were expecting. Even though it was just Thursday evening, many furries were already roaming around. Several fursuiters pacing around together in packs or on their own. Other furries were not as obvious in their belonging to the fandom, but even then their apparel clearly gave them away. As you stood by the doors, taking the sights, you thought a bit to yourself. What were were all the things you had taken into account for this con to go smoothly. Well, number one is enjoying yourself. This was supposed to be a fun event, right? If you aren't going to be enjoying yourself, what's the point? Sorry, I'm feeling a bit sick this morning. Uh, better try finding fun things to do and avoid stressful situations when possible. Number two, don't tire yourself out. You promised you would be trying your best to sleep through this weekend. Doing stuff is bound to tire you out, obviously. In a pinch, some caffeine might do the trick, though. Number three, eat enough. The mess, so I'll just move that out of the way until I need it. You already know healthy eating is going to be a lost cause, so might as well try to eat something. Several meals throughout the day should do. Okay, I can put it over here. You feel like you're forgetting something else, but maybe you'll remember it later. Probably hygiene. In any case, time to get moving. There's different ways to go about this. Would you rather check into your hotel room first, or head over to registration and register for the con? Um, let's go register for the con. Following the signs on the lobby, you quickly locate the con registration area. A few other con attendees are already in line. You probably join them, making sure your luggage doesn't take up too much space in the queue. This takes a while. You oddly wait around, messing around with your phone every few minutes, looking at other furries already having fun, their badges clipped to their person. You try to mentally begin thinking about your goals for the con. You definitely should have looked at the schedule in advance, briefly berating yourself for not doing so. You try to remember to do so later. Eventually, you reach the front of the line. A staff member calls you over, asking for your ID. As you dig around your belongings to get it, you remember the one other thing you had to keep in mind during this weekend. Number four. Spend funds wisely. With your room fees already covered, you only really need to worry about your spending money, which should cover your meals, stuff you might buy at the con, and assorted things you might need. You have $100 in your pocket. Pulling out your ID and handing it to them, they quickly locate your registration and ask you what name do you want on your badge. We are going to be... Hmm... Fuzzwald McGillicuddy. There we go. Okay. The staff member quickly types it in. Next, you are asked to specify your persona species. Um... We're going to be an Axotl. Axolot? Axotl? Is that how you spell it? Um... 
which is going to be a fox. There we go. The staff member notes this and types it in as well. Not long after, you provided a printed badge with the con's name that also reads Fuzzwald McGillicuddy, species fox. Well, that took a while and was a bit tiring. By the time you got your badge, the line has already died down. You also seem to notice an attendee getting loud with the staff. Deciding not to get involved, you head to the exit. On your way out, you grab a pocket schedule, hoping you won't forget it in your hotel room later. You then head to the hotel lobby. The hotel lobby is a pretty fancy square, with multiple couches for sitting, polished marble tails, tables, tails, and even a large fountain. It's not terribly busy yet, as expected of day zero of the convention. There's a few furries hanging out by the hotel lobby, some of them in fursuit, some of them just sitting and talking with others. You don't really know or recognize any of them. Maybe you could try talking to them. I mean, we could make some friends. Considering you haven't done so yet, maybe you should check into your hotel room. If you're hungry, you could also hit the hotel shop. You should probably wait and order some food in your room, though. But my belly's getting pretty low. Let's try talking to the other furs. Are you out of your mind? You don't know these people. What will they think about you? What do you think you... Who do you think you are to talk to them? You retreat back to the hotel lobby. Wow. Weak-minded. Uh, let's hit the hotel shop. Right now, the freshly baked cookies on display are grabbing your attention. Let's have a cookie. How much are they? Two bucks each. <coughs> Noticing the variety of cookie types on display, you go for it and buy one for yourself. You spend two dollars. This fills you up a little. Okay, so it looks like five percent. Well, let's keep buying cookies. Fills you up a little. Fills you up a little. It's day zero. I don't care what I do with my money. I'm a well-adjusted adult. I want to see what happens when you get it to 100%. So we're going to do that right quick. Oh, probably diabetes. And that's not actually a joke. It's... Well, I know it's genetically predispositioned, but let's not get into that. And... Perhaps now is not the time to do so, though. You couldn't eat another bite, okay? The smell of coffee being brewed has also found its way to you. So let's buy some coffee. Three dollars. You decide to go ahead and explain your very complex coffee order to the barista who promptly makes it for you. You spend three dollars. That fills you up a teeny bit. You feel more energetic. Okay. You are also probably all jittery and caffeinated. You don't need coffee. Looking behind you. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's check into our hotel room. You walk over to the hotel reception where a few other furries are already checking in. You don't even have to wait long before you are standing at the counter and a concierge is asking for your ID and card. Not long after, you have successfully checked into your room. The concierge hands you a specially branded room keycard for your room. It has a drawing of a smiling jackal on it. The mascot for the convention. Do they actually do that at furry cons? I don't know. Never been to one. You are assigned to room 5130. Once you're done here, you step back towards the hotel lobby. Okay, so we're going to go to the elevator now, because I don't want to read all that out again. Let's try going down. No point in doing that right now. Okay. Eh, I should be the first anyways. Walking over to the side of the building, you can see six elevators in wait. The area is quite empty enough, but you know it won't remain like that during the rest of the weekend. You can only hope they don't break when people need them the most. Taking five flights of stairs would be awful. After a short wait, the doors of an available elevator open and you walk inside, tugging your luggage along. Pressing the button labeled 5, you step back as the doors close and you head up. Less than 30 seconds later, the doors open on the fifth floor. Exiting, you are faced with a sign that reads rooms 5101 to 5125 and rooms 5126 to 5150. What a strange numbering system for the rooms. It almost looks like you were in the 51st floor instead. Shrugging, you turn right, walking down the carpeted corridor, counting each of the rooms until at last you find it. Ah, <sighs> your sanctuary, room 5130. Touching the key against the door, the light of the handle turns green and a click can be heard, signaling that it has been unlocked. You open it, walking into the dark room, before closing the door behind you. In the dark, you manage to find the light switch, revealing the look of the place. It's a quaint little room, has a single bed and enough space for your stuff. Dragging your luggage over to the bed, you sit down. For the first time of the day, you sit in absolute silence. You could also unpack your stuff, you lazy bastard. 
You decide to unpack your luggage. It's nothing too spectacular, just a few sets of extra clothing, your toiletries, a backpack to carry around, and a lanyard to hang stuff on. You pull out a custom-made badge depicting your fox character. You'll want to keep this last item with you. You sit on the bed idle and waiting. You're feeling somewhat hungry. No, I'm not. I just fucking filled up on cookies. Maybe you could order some food? Pulling out your phone, you scope out the restaurants in the area. A few of them look good enough and cheap enough, using a few promo codes you had saved up. It seems like it'll take a while for your orders to arrive. You spend $15. Ooh, down to 55 on the zeroth day. Once you set it all up, all that remains is to wait. You keep yourself busy by checking your phone and turning on the TV, idly checking out the local channels as well as cable stuff you're a bit familiar with. TV makes for a surprisingly good white noise. You already feel somewhat rested. That's actually true. I always have videos going on my phone when I'm trying to fall asleep. Your phone soon alerts you that your delivery man is already in the building. You sit at the ready, and soon enough there's a knock on the door. Answering and getting your food, you wave them goodbye and close the door. Setting down the bag with your order, you proceed to eat. That fills you right up. Once you're satisfied, you put away the little leftovers you have in the room's mini-fridge. You are still in your room. You sit on the bed, idle and waiting. It's getting late. You might want to go to bed. Deciding you've had enough and that you should probably rest for the following day, you ready yourself for bed. Undressing and getting comfy, you turn off the lights before undoing the bed's covers and getting under them. You feel the day's hustle and bustle melt away as your eyes start to close. You fall asleep. And that's it for the first one, so... Yeah, just a little text adventure, point and click. Not too much to it so far. And that's all I really got to say about it. So, I'll see you guys in a moment. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Three Furry Games. Now, we're going to play You Are a Furry, which is essentially a simulator where you have to accept that you are the scum of humanity and a complete failure in your everyday life. Something we all must accept one day. So, we press E to accept it. You are a furry. Prepare to face the day. Alright, so what's this? You gaze longingly at your favorite and crustiest body pillow. Only Blue Tiger Chan truly understands your innermost self. I see. Ooh. Though clearly yellowed from sweat, you can only muster the effort to wash the sheets once a month. Nobody will ever... Mm, in this bed. Actually, no, I can say it because it's been longer than me. No one will ever fuck in this bed. <clears throat> After careful thought, you decide the clothes you slept in are good enough to wear to again today. It's not like you're leaving the house. You work from home. You stand for a while and admire the delicate porcelain figures. They are kept behind glass, jealously guarded like a dragon's treasure. These anime titties belong to you, no one else. The wastebasket is full of nothing but old tissues. The sight of something like this used to fill you with shame. That place of shame within you is hollow now. You spend most of your day here, playing the same games, refreshing the same apps, occasionally driven to masturbate. You love this couch, but it'll never love you back. That's so true. You're pretty good at Super Smash Bros, and you've got the old CRT to prove it. Naturally, you main Star Fox. <coughs> your home office is through here. Better get something and have a shower before getting. Better eat something and get a have a shower before getting down to work. You make yourself a cup of coffee. This French press is a great way to make a single cup, which is perfect for someone as completely alone in the world as you. Oh god, that's sad. There's nothing fresh in the fridge and you finish yesterday's takeout all at once. You swig some Mountain Dew, snarf down a few chips, and promise to boil an egg or something later. Your oven is conspicuously clean. You haven't found the energy or motivation to bake anything in ages. Maybe you're just getting old. You slowly climb into the shower after an unsatisfying shit. Vague thoughts nudge the fuzzy edges of your mind as the water flows. You wonder how many good years your bowels have left. What will it be like in five years? Ten? Will you still be whole? Will you still be here in this sty, slowly settling deeper into a degenerate routine? You turn the tap. Hotter. It doesn't help. Nothing helps. 
Hotter, is this what your life is? Waiting for the art commissions from weirdos on Twitter? Stuck at your desk for hours a day doing your job? Hotter still, you realize you hate your job. You hate the people who pay you. You hate the senselessness of it. The intangibility. Oh, this goes fast. Oh, you're trapped. What else can you do? What skills do you have? Would you even enjoy anything else? You've always thought of yourself as a happy person. You live how you please. You do what you like. But what you like mostly revolves around anime cacos these days. Oh, you think? I'm a furry. But maybe I don't have to be. I think I missed some text there. Oops. Wow, this game's loud. And with that thought, the last of your hot water runs out. It's a new day. Time for work. Alright, we're all clean now, so we're gonna get to work. Oh, the music stopped. I don't like that. Stream. I don't know who Moo Moo is. Please don't let this get struck. The first game made by Narain Checks and some guy named Moon Moon. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys in the final vid. Master Zoom's Dojo. This is it, Disciple. Wow, what's with all the loud music? One second. Turn that down a bit. Your final has to wait you to become a true warrior. Wait, a true what? Ninja. Let's go through the basics. What is the... Woof, woof, woof. What a pathetic dojo this is. Move, you imbecile. Don't just stand there like this. <gasps> the arrows of the analog stick. Okay. So X is light attack. Had a good stretch. Now use light attack. Meh. Okay. Stop flailing your arms like this. Holy shit, he's pissed. Try using your heavy attacks. Which I assume is X. Ooh, I'm shaking. Ho ho ho. Was that supposed to hurt? Oh dear, do something. Use your ranged attack. Okay, B. I like Cat Bruce Lee in the background. Was that... Was that a fish? Where did you even find it? What are you gonna do now? Dodge around for no reason? Right bumper, okay. Did he actually dodge? Yep, he did. Right now, I'm not bored. Right, I'm now bored. Time to end this. Ooh. Avenge me! My throat's not awake enough to do voices yet, so... Oh, okay, I'm dead. Um, cool. So what do I do now? Oh, do it. So, what? Okay, so A, what does this do? Ow! Fucking rats. Huh. Um, we finished the demo. <laughs> All right then. Uh, let's let's replay that. Oh god, the music won't stop. Wow, 
why I wanted to. There we go. Oh my god, the enemies take so many hits. Okay, I can. Wow, I can triple jump. Wow, I'm bad. I'm bad at this. Okay, let's just try running through this. Oh, no, it looks like this is the boss. Unless, okay. So he kills his own guys. Ow! You know what? I was looking forward to this one because it kind of looked like it would be the best of the bunch. Uh, but I think we're done for now. So I'm just going to leave it off here. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Either way, it's fine by me. But I certainly do hope you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. As always, I'm Ryder, and I'll see you guys later. God damn, that music was loud.